Well, hello there everybody. So here we are with the next video of my desk build. So this video is going to start off a little strange because I didn't do video of me actually cutting and putting the the framework together because, or, you know, mocking the framework together because of the fact that um, I knew it was going to be rather time consuming and my battery wouldn't last and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to just take a series of pictures while I was doing all those cutting and fitting and those types of things. So as you can see here, uh, first thing I'm showing is where I'm notching out the the two by fours. And so what I did was I just ran it back and forth across the table saw. I did learn a little bit later just using a uh, skill saw. Uh, set to the proper depth was actually quicker than running it back and forth on the table saw. So after you run it back and forth on the table saw and you get all these grooves, then what you need to do is you need to take a hammer and break out all of those extra pieces. And so you're going to take that out. And then what I did was I flipped the board over and you can see there um, what I did was I, I ran it back and forth across the table saw while it was running to smooth it all out. And uh, that gave me a nice smooth finish. And then now we're going to move into where you can see where I'm mocking them up. And as I got them done, what I was doing was I was mocking them up and uh, making sure that everything was fitting correctly and, and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, I cut all of the smaller, the shorter boards first and then just started kind of working my way around and uh, cutting the ones that seemed to make the most sense so I could um you know get them all put together and and figured out so uh, this final picture here shows them all put together in a you know a mock-up type of situation just to make sure everything fits the way that i wanted it to and um you know this was all just a dry fit and this was at my dad's uh, in my dad's garage uh, i don't have a table saw so i was using his so after i got it all put together then i had to take it all back home so I could get it put together. And we're going to now step into uh, me at home getting everything set up and mocked up again at home. And then we'll, from uh, after the mock-up, we'll proceed to put it together. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off by getting all the boards, putting them out there. Uh, I've moved everything from my dad's garage to home. and. Uh, time to put them all back together and make sure that they all fit and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is going to be the final resting place. And um, this is actually the second time I've done this video. The first time uh, was very long and very drawn out. And so I decided to speed it up a little bit because it um, was taking way too long and I didn't want to bore you guys. But here we go. Um, it's actually a pretty good speed for it, really. Uh, so here I am, I'm just, uh, now that I've got everything in place, I need to make sure that I've got it in position correctly. So, um, these ends, basically the, the end of the two by four sticks out six inches past the, uh, the plates that are on top of the legs. And so I just need to make sure that the, that six inches is correct. So I'm just going around making sure that they're all in the correct position. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamp it down to... Uh, keep it where I need it to be. After I get that in clamped down, I can come over and make sure that this other side uh, fits where it needs to be as well. So again, these are six inches from that plate to the end of the two by four, and then I can start putting all the cross pieces in. And as you can see here, I numbered all of the intersections to, just to make sure it was kind of a keep it simple, stupid type of thing, make sure that uh, everything went back exactly where it needed to be. So, um, I'm going to start putting in all the screws here, and I can tell you that having two drills to be able to do this makes things so much easier. So basically, uh, I have the one drill for the uh, drill bit, and the second drill for the, the screws. I showed the screw there because I wanted to just kind of point out that it was a five, uh, one and five eighths inch uh, screw, and it was perfect length by the time you go through the plate and then the inch and a half of the two by four. I can get through both two by fours and uh, hold them together uh, very securely. So um, again, I'm just going to go around and I'm going to 
pre-drill all the holes that I can get to and go ahead and get the screws put into those holes. And, uh, of course, when in doubt, drop a screw, right? So I dropped the screw, and uh, but we move on. The clamp was over two of the holes. I had to move the clamp so I could get to those and go down here and, and uh, pre-drill both of those. And then we'll get go ahead and get those fastened. And then we can move on to the, the other corner. And we'll get those done as well. <clears throat> so you, you get a nice view of my shoulder. That's pretty entertaining. <laughs> um, and then uh, here I'm just making sure that the width is correct. So I know that the width needs to be um, 21 and a half inches wide uh, for those rails. And then um, the end of that 2x4, the, the cross piece, needs to stick out another um, 2 and a half inches because it's 24 inches wide. And again, that's 6 inches from the ends. Once I get it in position, I go ahead and uh, clamp it down like I did before. And we're just going to go ahead and pre-drill as many holes as we can get to. And then we'll go ahead and get those screws put in as well. So we're just kind of moving along. Now, keep in mind, this was uh, after being on my feet for probably 12 hours total um, at my dad's, getting all these boards cut out and planned and all that kind of stuff. I kind of had somewhat of an idea in my mind. Um, but I didn't really get it put into, um, into, into motion until I actually got to my dad's and I, I did a test run of cutting those notches and making sure that I could get it, um, done correctly. And, uh, then after that, it was just a matter of start measuring stuff out and making sure that I had everything in the right position. Um, but you know, I just took it slowly and made sure that everything worked, um, one at a time. And it was only, you know, mid nineties the day I did this and, um, in a nice hot garage. So that was, um, not comfortable. I can tell you. So this was at the end of it. And I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. So that way I could move on, uh, um, you know, definitely since 21 and a half inches, there you go. And so, uh, I wanted to, uh, try to get the, the, this part of the desk done as quickly as I could. So that way, I could get the tops measured and all that kind of stuff. So I, as soon as I got all the boards cut and everything was fitting correctly out there, I brought them home and just started putting them together. So um, <clears throat> it's actually a good thing that I did uh, speed up the video because I was moving pretty slow by this time, but I was dedicated and had to get it done. So there we go. We're getting this last cross piece in here. And uh, so actually only three total of these cross pieces, um, just the way it ended up working out. But, uh, so we get these three cross pieces in, um, right over the legs and that helps out. Um, the, what would have been the fourth cross piece is actually this long rail. Um, you can see that the legs all line up in a straight line there. And, uh, that was by design, ladies and gentlemen, I made sure that I could get that done. But uh, we had to make sure everything gets into position um, right where it needs to be. And uh, we get it clamped down good and tight and start to, oh, we got to make sure it's square as well. So we break out the square. I don't know. I can't remember if I actually used the square in the other corners or not. But uh, I, I definitely showed using the square here. Um, it all worked out just fine. Um I think this corner was actually had more of a chance of it being out of square just because this is the closest to the where the two kind of intersections were and uh, the best chance of getting out of square, I think. So um, that's one of the reasons why I definitely wanted to make sure it was square there. So we'll get all these screws in, move to the next ones. Look at this. I could, uh, if I could do this in real life, I could, uh, like, move this fast. I could build some houses in a hurry. All right, so we're just making sure our width is correct before we put the, the ones in the back on, because um, if that width gets out, then, you know, there's no chance that I'm going to be able to fix that, so. There we go. We're going to go ahead and get it clamped into place. 
once I get that done, make sure my width is correct and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's no turning back after that. Check it one more time for square and time to crawl up underneath there and get those screws put in. Take both my drills with me, of course, and uh, nothing worse than crawling up underneath something and realizing you forgot the drills and then you have to get back out to go get them. So um, I can only get two of them in at a time. Oh, we got three. So we get that, that third one in there and we're going to be good to go. So what I don't show you is uh, the legs on the far end. Um, I didn't show you me putting those in, but I assure you they are screwed in place and everything's tightened up. Uh, I just didn't put it on camera, but uh, uh, or at least not in this video. Uh, so uh, we'll get all these put in there and that'll be the end of this one. So um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And um, if you are, throw a comment in the in there if you have a different idea of how to do this let me know so with that i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you very much everybody and i'll catch you in the next video take care the average risky son don't take a dump without a plan